Heidi ho there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here today along with my dad. Say hi, Dad. Howdy, howdy. Today we're going to show you another way to do some canning of jalapeno peppers, okay? Now this is not the recommended way of the ball procedure or whatever, and I highly recommend, I'm going to give you this little disclaimer, that you, um, I highly recommend going by what the guidelines are of the ball canning process is, but we're going to show you a way that dad does it, has been doing it for years, and it seems to work fine for him. So stay tuned, friends. All right, the reason I do it this way is that most of the time I don't plant enough of jalapenos out there to do canning. I just can them when I have more than enough, and most of the time I don't have but one quart or one half pint. Today I just got this little dab right here. Uh, and that's not enough to can to do the water bath or the pressure washer or whatever. But this is the way I've found out that I can can. Pressure this. washer? You mean pressure I mean, pre cooker? <laughs> pressure cooker. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, don't, don't put them in the pressure washer. That's uh, exactly right. Anyhow, uh, this, is, this is the way you can just can one jar if you want to without going through all the hassle of the other stuff. Don't make a mess and it's quick and it's safe. Okay, uh, what I do is just cut these up, just very easy, uh, you know, in, in little slices, and uh, get them ready to go in the jar. Now you have to watch doing this because if you put too much pressure on it, these seeds will just jump everywhere. And I mean, when I say jump everywhere, they'll jump everywhere. And the seeds is the hottest part of it, right? Yeah, but you know, some people take them out. But mm -hmm. You leave yours in. Right? Oh, uh, uh, if I didn't want the heat, I wouldn't even can these things. I'd can the bell peppers. Oh, okay. All right. Now, when you do that, you just put them in here. And you, that's, that's as many as I've got. Okay. Right. Okay, the next step is putting them in the jars. Now, I just use my uh, thing. You can tell this, this is no... Uh, new one. I've had it for years. It's an old school in there. Uh, this is uh, about probably 40, 45 years old. Is it? Yeah. Uh, me, and your, me and your mother canned it back in the 60s with this. Yeah. All right. Now you don't want to pack it all the way tight, uh, full, until you reach down in there and you, you pack these down in there good. Because okay. if you don't pack them down there good, you're just going to end up with a half a jar of uh, jalapenos. All right. Okay, this is what you end up with. This is how many I had, and I'll put the rest of them in a bowl and put them in the refrigerator and garnish salads and stuff like that. That's what I use them for anyhow. Okay. So that, uh, how far how far is that filled up? Let's just tell them. It's almost well, it's, it's, it's about a half it, inch of it, Yeah, here. but when you when you put, when we uh, put it in here, uh, uh, it's going to go down some. Okay. Now, might want to tell you, I sterilize my jars real good before I start. I wash my produce real good, and I also uh, sterilize my lids and stuff over there. This was boiling water when I put them in there. Okay, let's take a look at that right quick so they can see. So you just heated this up in the microwave and had this boiling water? No, I heated it up on the stove over here. Oh, okay, here. on the stove, all right. So heated that up to sterilize the, uh, the rings, yeah. all right. Okay, when you're doing one uh, jar at a time, uh, I know how much I need to put in it from past experience. And on a pint like that, I use a half a cup of vinegar and a half a cup of water, and that'll be enough. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I'll pour this up right now. All right. Okay, what I do now is bring this to a rolling boil and then I just cut it off and I take and I pour it while it's still boiling. I just pour it right in there. As you can see, I got what? That much? Yeah, that was a perfect amount, wasn't it? That comes from doing it. That's about a half an inch of headspace there. Okay. Now you also want to get that in here 
And, uh, well, the knife ain't what you're supposed to do it with. Just go down in here and do this. Make sure you get all your air pockets out. Right. Okay. Okay, like I said, that was a little bit full a while ago. Once I got the air pockets out, it's, it's heated just a little bit. You'd see that it's, it's gone down quite a bit. It's not right. quite level there, about a half yeah. inch head space of uh, the fluid yeah. and the, and the uh, jalapenos. Okay, I put it in the microwave now. Although this was boiling water, it, uh, you gotta remember those jalapenos was cold. Yeah. So I put it in the microwave and I'll bring it to the vinegar to a boil again. You can see it. Be, well, you got to watch this because you don't take your eye. If you take your eye off of this and it comes to boil and you're not doing anything, it'll boil all over, all over the place. But you see, watch it good. All right. You never know how long it's going to take uh, to do this. So you just need to stand here. A, a pint probably not going to take, but uh, well, it'll be less than a minute. Okay. Okay. My light in this thing's not as good as it ought to be, so I hold up a, a light in here so I can see it good. Now, it's already, I'm starting to see little bubbles. Uh, it won't be but a minute. It just, it just, it, it just come to a boil. I've cut it off. You just push the door open, and that's the best way to get it to stop. That took a little over Ow, 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 ow. Don't forget to get a pot holder for those guys. Yes. <laughs> now, hmm. let me get my lid out of here. Okay. You want to wipe that rim off right quick? Yeah, I got a uh, wet towel. Yeah, right there, right? yeah. Let me grab this for you real quick. Okay. Wiping the rim off, friends, just make sure there's no food particles on top of there that would um, prevent it from sealing properly. Now, I got tough hands, so I recommend you using a pot holder. Now you just wait for it to set and you hear the ping of the lid, and when it's that way, you can put it up. Uh, I had some I can last year uh, in July and August and September that uh, I didn't finish eating up till January, February of this year, and they were still good. So cool. I feel confident this is a, a, a safe way to go. Merely the fact because it's it's boiled and it's in vinegar. Vinegar is going to preserve, and it. it's not like doing it uh, in just in water. Right. Okay. Like I said, this is a quick and easy way of doing it. It took less time to can that than it did to cut it up and pack it in a jar. Uh, and most of the time, canning you got to put them in a water bath and let them go for a long period of time. Now I didn't put any pickling uh, uh, spices in this. Uh, I just put vinegar and water. And no salt. I wanted it as close to jalapenos as I can. If you want the pickling flavor of the jalapenos, get you a recipe that tells you how to do the pickling recipes and use those spices and do it the same way. But uh, uh, you also need to bring those spices to a boil when you, before you pour them in. Okay. Guys, I want to thank you for watching the video today. A uh, video on canning jalapenos, a different way of doing it. It's been working for Dad for many, many years. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Take care.